Hey guys, I know I mentioned this on the other video, but I want to do a short one just on this issue. We had an atheist of 40 years get saved on the channel, and I wanted to show, uh, uh, dispel some myths. For the atheists, uh, I don't blame you for being atheists based on this other God the world seems to be presenting to you and the hypocrisy of those that call themselves Christians that do things that in hatred instead of they're, they're, they're supposed to be Christians, followers are Christ-like and are the furthest thing from that. Uh, I wanted to explain real quick uh, what happened here. This gentleman had been introduced to a works-based church. He was so sick, to, sick of people saying you had to do this or do that or God's going to torture you forever and you got to live this way. And Anyway, the, the real God, this is what happened. Uh, man fell and we were supposed to be immortal, but when we fell... Sin came in the world and death and, and uh, condemnation and wrong thinking and all kinds of things came into the world. And in God's mercy, he gave us mortality, lest we live forever in this fallen state. Okay? So now what he did is he came in human form as Christ, died on the cross for you and as you, bore that weight of our sin in his body, was buried and rose again on the third day. If you research this, there's much evidence for the bodily resurrection of Christ. Uh, the Case for Christ by Lee Strobel is an excellent study of an atheist that actually went to disprove the resurrection and eventually came to the truth that it was actually true. Um, so that's how much God loves you. So that you can have a new spirit and he's going to give you a glorified body just like Jesus's, and you will be immortal in that body that can't get sick and thinks right and has the mind of Christ. Uh, it is a free gift. Eternal life is a free gift, not a works lest any man should boast. We are saved by God's grace. That's unearned, unmerited favor, uh, forgiveness, and blessing. Uh, and then God imputes his righteousness on us when we trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ alone, his blood alone, to make an atonement for the sins we have committed. Um, so that is the gospel. The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. It's what God did for man. And there's nothing about what man must do for God. Now, once a person is saved, the Holy Spirit seals them forever. And he begins a work in your heart and in your mind if you listen to him. Because see, now you got the old man, the flesh, who's warring against the spirit. But the truth of the gospel is that you don't do anything for it. God freely gives it to you by his grace and you receive it by faith. Uh, and it's unfortunate that it's been turned into religion and so much evil has been done in his name. So grace doesn't make you run from God or abuse it. So, oh good, I can sin away now. It's not like that. Grace makes you run towards God. Who is this God that loves me so much that he came and paid my debt and gives me the free gift of eternal life? Who? Who? I has not heard, uh, I has not seen, ears haven't heard what God has planned for those who love him. And so we're not saved because we love God, but because he first loved us. He always knew this would happen. He lets it play out. There's a lot of evil things in the world. God doesn't force anybody to do what's right, but he will make it right in the end. Uh, so I was so happy to hear, because it's rare for an atheist. I, I don't go fighting trying to prove God's existence. Creation itself and our own conscience prove the existence of God. The fool in his heart says there is no God. And I can't blame these people. Based on how people have been acting that claim to know God, I don't blame them. The Jesus they preach is another Jesus. It's another God. Now, there's a lot of things in Scripture that are hard to understand. Uh, if you have issues with that, myself and many people better than me can certainly explain these things that appear to be contradictions, but they're not. If, if you can understand that everything in the Old Testament was a shadow of Christ, and the law was given so that our fence might abound, so that every mouth may be stopped, all become guilty before God, to be a schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, to show us our need for a Savior, that we fall short of God's glory, of his standard of perfection. But he will impute his perfection on anybody that trusts in him. And it is a free gift. I was just happy to say that an atheist came to the true God. Grace doesn't uh, cause more sin. It works opposite. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it's the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes. So I just wanted to share that good news with anyone who may not have seen that video on the flesh a minute ago. All right. God bless.